Hello, Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Hyper Speed, the story I try to speed for games while drinking energy drinks. Uh, I'm Blake the Cake Snake, and this is uh, Sephiroth, the uh, extremely close-up visual dude. Uh, also, he's covered in he's covered in blood. I know it literally looks like blackface, but I swear he's covered in blood. His face is usually not this color. Um, I can fix it though. Just watch. I'm gonna do a little magic trick. I sit at this bonfire, turn around, and magically he has a normal face again. Voila! How'd you like that magic trick? All right. A little bit of smoke, a little bit of mirrors, and now he's cool. Oh, I forgot. I was actually gonna level between um. I could have leveled between videos, but I forgot, and I just started this video, so, um, just what you get to watch. Uh, speed this up. Alright, and we're back. I probably should not have said that before the thing loaded, um, because the loading screen can be annoying. Welcome to, wo welcome to loading screen. I'm gonna take a sip of that drink real quick, um, just for just for giggles and shits, for lols, just for the kecks. Uh, so you may have noticed I went a little bit back here, to an area I've already been in. And that's because this is not a game where uh, you typically ignore areas you've already been in. You you do tend to go back to areas. Uh, what I am doing today, and the reason why I went back, um is because there is an item somewhere over here in this general vicinity that I actually need. I don't know, I don't recall where exactly it is, but it's somewhere over here. I'm looking for a pyromancy tome. Oh, wonderful, I've been invaded by Yellowfinger Hazel. Oh, hello, there's the pyromancy tome. That's what I was looking for. This is going to go very badly because Yellowfinger Hazel's a dick, and I've got shit on me. And I was not prepared for this. So I'm gonna really quickly run back to the frickin' bonfire and summon a Sunbro to help me out. Hello. I don't wanna deal with you right now, doggy. Yep, I'm gonna run back here. I saw a dude here. Why is he not here now? Uh oh. This is bad. The summon sign, which was here, is no longer here, which make, means, oh well, I guess this is where I'm making my last stand. I didn't put my summon sign down, did I? No, I don't think I did. Uh, crap. There was one here a second ago, I would have summoned him. Uh... You know what I should do is I should figure out, um... How to get way of the blue so I can use that for now. Let me let me Google that real quick while I wait to see if this guy ever shows up. He's uh He's taking his time. Quite frankly. He was behind me before, but now he's not following me anymore. Located across from Vort of the Briel Valley boss fight in the cathedral with Emma. Exhaust her dialogue. Alright, so that's what I have to do then. So where's Yellowfinger? I'm gonna kill that bastard. Where'd he go? Hello, Yellowfinger. Bitch! Ha, you get hurt by that too, bitch. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna lead him through some enemies. And see if he can even deal with the enemies. There we go. I cut you a path, Hazel. You coming or what? I'd like to point out that his name is Yellowfinger Hazel. And he is neither yellow nor hazel. He is in fact red. Or crimson, for that matter. Can you stop spamming spells, you fucking cunt? I greatly appreciate that. Why does everything in this fucking swamp have to spam spells? I really hate spellcasters. And everything in this frickin' swamp does- Oh my god! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. 
So, I've never actually had to legit fight Yellowfinger Hazel before, because in my first save, he spawned and then mysteriously died. I don't know how. Um, and then in my second save, uh, Nathan killed him for me. Uh, like, he just happened to spawn next to Nathan, and Nathan was like, well, let me just take this dick out. And so he did. So, I've never had to, like, actually full-on fight him before, which means... Uh, that now I'm dealing with this asshole for the first time for real and man do I hate this asshole No, god damn it. I was so close. You see how little health he had left. Well, I guess I take a swig And he freaking of course he steals my freaking ember because he's a dick because he's a fucking dick He's an obnoxious brick all right, so I might as well, uh, I, I mean, I I should go get my souls, but then once I do that, I got what I came here for. I can leave. I don't have to fight that asshole again. Do, 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 do. Is it me or is this loading screen, like, way longer than usual? I think this is a long-ass loading screen, my man. I don't know why. I mean, all I did was die. I mean, all it has to do is reload and reset the entire area over again. How hard can that possibly be? Am I right? I'd really appreciate if this loading screen would end. Would you kindly load the game? I'm gonna pull an atlas on your ass. Would you kindly load the game? No? No? Are you gonna, are you gonna be a dick about it? Fine. Be a dick, then. Don't ever load. I'll just drink more of this frickin' energy drink. I'll make this feel even longer, because I get more and more hyper. My brain runs faster, the game runs slower. What the fuck, man? I like Chameleon. Uh, that is a spell which basically turns this into Gary's mod. Uh, not, not, sorry, not Gary's mod. Um, Prop Hunt, which is from Gary's mod, but... I, I meant that specifically. It allows you to turn into something in the environment, and so you can use it to hide from uh, enemies and sneak up and stab them. Come on, man, what the hell? Two hours later. Oh my god! Keck! Give me some of that keck, please. I would appreciate a little bit of that keck. Are you, are you gonna fuck with me right now? This is how. This is what we're gonna do. All right. Fuck this. Oh, so welcome back. So, uh, literally right as I ended the recording, it freaking decided to load. I don't know why, but screw it. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Am I? Am I right? Am I relatable now? Am I funny? No. Of course I'm not funny. I have no talent. Alright. All, uh, all partially joking, uh, hate, self-hatred aside, um, I'm gonna go do some shit now. If you don't mind. If you don't mind, real quick, I'm gonna do some shit. So right up in here, we got what we call, uh, a coiled sword. It's what's in every single bonfire. I honestly don't know why I did that, because I do not want to go back to the, um, place. The, whatever you call it, filing shrine. Sorry, apparently, all that load time just, like, fried my brain. I can't think straight now. I don't know if I have enough souls to level up. Probably not, but I'm gonna check. I do, actually. Um, just barely. Alright, so we have now reached the minimum thing, the minimum requirement to get everything I like. And I also have the Pyromancy Tome to uh, give to the dude that I can then learn a Pyromancy from him. So, that is my intention. Uh, Keck, sorry. Yes, I will bring you more souls in the future. Thank you. Didn't think so, but I figured I'd check anyway. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hello, Pyromancy Master. 
let me give you no not that let me re let me give you a tome yes. <laughs> uh let me reinforce my flame since i can let me uh not purchase an item because you don't have anything i care about let me check what i got going on here i can get bursting fireball now which is what i want but i'm gonna take my time and get that because instead i want to well no actually i'm gonna I'm gonna get that as soon as possible, I just can't get it right now because I don't have enough freaking souls. So until I have enough souls, allow me to travel back to Crystal Sage, we're gonna move on to the next section. Uh, and get to the next bonfire. And that is a specific area, which for some reason I cannot remember the name of, and therefore am stalling. It's some church, it's some of the- it's a cathedral. It's Cathedral of the Deep, but that's not the name of the bonfire. I'm trying to think of the name of the bonfire. It's the second bonfire in Cathedral of the Deep, anyway. Let me get some of that, uh, healing. Alright, apparently I can't, uh... And they can't put my soapstone anywhere nearby here, so we're just gonna kill this asshole, and then we're gonna deal with it. I don't know how I got Twinkling Titanite, but I'm not gonna complain. That stuff is actually difficult to come by. Hello, I'm going to heal a bit. I, I could use some of that heal. Yeah, you're dead now. I could use a little bit of that healing. I don't know how I keep getting Twinkling Titanite, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, you bitch. I very much hate this bitch. She's fat. Uh, that's not why I hate her. I don't, I don't hate fat people. I do, however, hate people who kill me repeatedly. That is, that is generally a thing that is worthy of my hatred. God damn it, I'm dead. Well. Sip it is. Or I guess I'll upgrade to slurps since it's not very often I end up sipping. Because I haven't, I don't get a lot of deaths. Oh, you know what I literally just remembered? I was actually going to go and get that way of the blue thing. Which means not here. But now that I lost my souls, I have to go do that. So I will go to the other place um, once I get those souls back. That's my plan. I will get my souls back, then I will go to the next bonfire, and from there is when I will start to worry about the way of the blue. Heck. You can die, because I don't like you. You can charge at me all you want, but it's not gonna make me like you. God damn it. Topist of Keck. Bottomist of text. You're done, son. I don't know, maybe that's my catchphrase for this uh, playthrough. You're done, son. That seems to be the one I keep saying today. It definitely is, at least for today. God damn it. You and your freaking club. I don't want to be in your club. I don't like your club. Oh, uh, he's she's doing the insta kill. Oh, what? I was clearly out of range of that. Okay, screw you. In all honesty. Thoroughly, screw you. I give you a wholehearted screw you. With all of my soul. Honestly. So that was that. That was that. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Life is like a box of chocolates. I know that was a terrible Forrest Gump impression. Don't question me. Don't question me. I swear. Hello. Yes, please. Please stop doing that.
Please stop doing the bad. Turns out that is a bad. And I would appreciate it if you would not bad. Up, 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 up. Well, he fell. That's fine. He's probably gonna come back up here eventually. Nope, nope, no! Freaking hell. Oh, wait, I'm not dead. Holy crap. I really thought I was dead there. I could have sworn I was dead. I would have bet money on it. Hey, yo. Ow, you prick. Don't do that. Ow. Seriously? This is what we're doing now, huh? Let me just grab these souls. Let me heal up a bit. And then we can go. You wanna go? Now we can go. Frick. I honestly just need to take my time with her. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances with that shit anymore. You're done! I'll take some of those. Oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Thought I saw a shiny, but it turns out it was just, uh, some actual shine. Like, the ledge was shining. Hello, bonfire. I do, in fact, appreciate you. Oh, right. I said next bonfire. I'm leaving. All right. So now I'm going to go get that thing at Vort or across from Vort. I should say I need to go talk to Emma. She's the crazy old woman who I talked to to get the banner. I didn't think I'd have to go back there, but it turns out I do. Which is just wonderful, mind you, because I really hate those knights and I dealt with them quite effectively the first time. But I have a feeling I'm going to I have a feeling that was luck. That was just my high luck stat, which actually my luck stat is very low. That was my high luck stat, which allowed me to freaking survive that. <laughs> my my real life high luck stat. I managed to not get fucked over by sheer luck. All right, here we go. So first things first, we got to deal with these two who aren't that tough. Actually, I'm going to run right past them and kill the annoying guy up here so that I don't have to deal with him because he's a pain. I'll take that, even though I'm not going to use it. Now I'm going to deal with these guys. Kick you. And then... Kill you. There you go. We're good. Moving on. He turned fast. Didn't get the backstab because he turned way too quick for me. And what I want to do is, before I forget about it and end up getting screwed by it, I want to take this guy out. I want to take this guy out. And now I can fight you. You want to go? Let's go now. It's a fair fight now. Just you and me. You and me, you prick. That's right. You're down. Now I can fight your friend alone as well. Hey there, buddy. How are you? How would you like a piece of this? I know you do. I know you just love to jab your spear right up in here. Oh, you blocked. Combo, combo, up, up. Wombo combo, that ain't Falco. There, he's done. And it's over. All right, you are a nice friend of mine, hello. 
Hello, good friend. Oh, Thank you for giving me the blue way of the blue bullshit that I can use. Uh, I'm gonna put that on because that'll help me get through the early part of the game. Help me deal with invasions. Actually, I'm only gonna put that on when I'm embered because that's the only time it's actually gonna help me. When I'm not embered, however, blue sentinels will help me level a little bit. As I will be summoned into other people's games to help them fight enemies. Alright, Vort. How are you? Let's go back to... Cathedral of the Deep. Oh. Apparently the, um... Remember I said it wasn't the name of it? Apparently I was wrong. It totally was the name of it. It's actually called Cathedral of the Deep. Bonfire. Well then. Oni Slayer Great Arrows. Used for slaying Onis. Welcome to Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, so this dude is my first concern. And actually there's a dude behind me who's gonna try and ambush me too. But we're not gonna let him. We're gonna fight this dude. Oh, God damn it! Really? Ha, okay. You had a chance to attack me, but you didn't! Because you're not as cool as I am. Oh, God damn it! Never mind! Of course. I'm gonna take a big ol' sip for that one. Getting killed right in the middle of boasting. Hey! Of course I did. Imagine if I was doing this with alcohol, like every death I, I like, take a shot. You know I'd be dead in like, like by the time I get to the freaking Abyss Watchers, I would die of alcohol poisoning. So where'd that ninja asshole come from so I can deal with them this time? Alone. Okay, I guess they don't spawn in until I fight this dude, so whatever. God damn it! Don't use your stupid stun shout, you freaking prick. Don't use that stun shout on me, you cunt. Ow, holy crap. That does a lot of damage, my friend. Welcome to Dark Souls. You've died. I feel like that's what Dark Souls 1 is trying to tell you. Like with its opening sequence. It makes you pick your character and everything. And be, and like, spend all this time creating him. And then it's like, welcome to Dark Souls. You are dead. Get used to it. It's gonna happen a lot. Where am I? Ow, you fucking prick, dude. You serious? Are you serious with this shit? You're such a dick. You and your freaking dickitude. Kicking me to make me vulnerable. Freaking shouting at me. Freaking using knives. You're like every douchey freaking online player there is. Rolled into one. Okay, screw you. Yeah, and the freaking surprise gang squad too. You are every douchey online player rolled into one. Except you're not online. God freaking damn it. Where do you keep coming from, you freaking whatever you are? You're wearing the Fallen Knight armor. I hate you because you're wearing the armor of the character I use normally. So screw you. Screw you real hard. Honestly. It is time for pain. Are you shitting me with your stupid freaking stun locking bullshit? Fuck you. Honestly, if you could not, I would really appreciate it. Excuse moi. Welcome to Hyperspeed, the show where I burp and then apologize in French. Because I am a fancy, uh, sophisticated person. I'm a sophisticated Let's Player. The most sophisticated and intelligent you will ever see. Clearly. I'm also obviously the best at Dark Souls. Zero Lenny? Nah, screw that guy. Clearly I'm better than him. 1v1 me, Zero Lenny. 
I'll take you on. Broken sword only. You can die, honestly. Like, if, if it's up to me, if I am the one permitting you, I say, I am allowing you to die. I permit you to die. Thank you. You finally died. And so have I. But that's okay, because I come back and you don't. Because I'm better than you. Because I'm a player. Therefore, I'm inherently more important to the story. Eat shit. Alright. Here we go. So, first of all, let me go pick up that item that he dropped. Then, let me grab this. Because that's important. Then, let me wait out this freaking assassin asshole. Assassin asshole. You're a prick. You know that? Using the frickin', my freaking favorite armor, too. Honestly, go fuck yourself. Ass in titties. Ass, ass in titties. Titties. God damn it. I don't know why I started thinking that. Don't question me. Don't question my logic. My logic is flawless. My flogic is lawless. Come on. God damn it. Hey yo, you're done, son. Catchphrase. All right, cool. Sorry, I'm leaning forward, so now that I'm probably louder. And you probably hear my button presses too, because it's right in front of the frickin' right in front of the frickin' mic. Sorry, I'm kind of holding it like an inch from the mic. I'm sorry about that. Let me back that up a bit. Uh, Kex. Where'd the dogs go? Ah, oh, god damn it! Hey, oh, you're done. Really, really with this? Really? All right, fuck you then. We're going back to the bonfire. Hey, hey, I saw that. So what you tried to do there, you prick. You pricky dicky. Ow, fuck you. Hey, hey, you with the arrow, hey. 1v1 me, you prick, come at me. Come at me, you little bitch. Try and take me out without your freaking range advantage. See how that goes for you. Don't worry, you'll be seeing it soon. We're gonna find out soon enough. We're gonna find out soon enough who's better. You can die. You wanna come over here, huh? You wanna come for me? You wanna come at me, bro? Drog, bro? Yeah, that's right. You're done. You don't wanna come at me. Cause you know you'll die. You know that I'm the better, I'm the better swordsman in a game about mostly swords. Exactly. That's what I thought. Ow, okay, that was stupid. I'll admit that was very stupid of me. I literally walked into that arrow. Hi, buddy. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'll answer that for you. You're not very well. You're not doing well. You have many arrows in you, and now you have a sword through you. Howdy. That's what I thought. Done, son. Get shit on. Alright, so now that we're past all that BS, you get to see what's up next in the Cathedral of the Deep. And that is this man right here. This man is my favorite man in the world because he literally gives me three souls. Watch. See? Free souls. He runs up, tries to give me a hug. When it doesn't work, he falls down. And I get free souls. And that's why he's my favorite man in the world. Let's just open up this door right here. 
Let me make sure my password's off. Hello, friend. I'm gonna activate this bonfire first because I don't want to deal with you yet. Hello, good friend. How are you? Wait, you've the same scent as that woman. Then you must be an ashen one. You must be. You don't know how long I've searched. Really? It doesn't look like you're searching. It really looks like you're just kneeling here. Looks like, actually, it kind of looks like you're presenting your ass to me, to be honest. You want one right up there? You want a big one, big one right up there? Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, let me, let me just, mm, yep, no, hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta, um, that right there. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about a little bit of, oh, shit. A little bit of that. Yep. Okay. We're accepting. I don't know what you offered, but we're accepting it. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandale. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Keck, enter the world of Keck. And then the ashes were too. <laughs> Let me just down a pint of Bing raspberry juice for that one. I swear I'm not endorsed by Bing raspberry juice. I don't know why I keep saying their name. Bing raspberry juice. It's the best juice ever. Buy some in your local supermarket store. In your local stop and stop and mart. Buy it now. So what I found is that if you turn around, there's this dude here. Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Great choice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariad Quick. Go along. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. So this dude here, um, I've, I know nothing about him. But I have a strong desire to kill him. Uh, mainly because I'm Sephiroth and therefore am a dick. Can I, can I not kill this dude actually? Hey yo, you're dead. Yeah, that's right. Don't try and talk to me politely. How dare you? So right here, we got what you call a bonfire. It's uh it's special to this DLC. You never see one of these anywhere else. So in case you didn't guess from that previous statement, I'm currently in the DLC. And this is a tree. It's also a person. And an enemy. Or maybe not. I don't know. I actually don't know. I thought it was an enemy. Doesn't seem it is. Keck. And that right there is a load of keck. So what you just saw um, was me kill a man in cold blood. Yep, fair to see a lot of that. So that's basically this game. Ow, okay, that was a dick. Dick move. In actuality, that was not a dick because um, it was actually a spear, which although phallical, it's not a dick. Oh, fuck. Nope, nope, nope. He's running at me. Up. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck. I've been cornered. There's no way out. Okay, well, don't mind me. 
I'll just die here then. This is fine. So it turns out, I'm not exactly ready to take on the DLC yet. <laughs> uh, we'll level a bit before we deal with that, alright? How, how's that sound? Does that sound like a plan? Uh. Excuse moi, that is a plan for me. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna level just a, just a little bit. But first I should probably... Crack open a third can! Because, according to my rules, I have to take another sip. This will probably be the last episode for today. Um, because anal, that's why. Don't question my logic. I actually don't know where I died, which is just wonderful, mind you, because it means that, of course, I cannot find my souls. I think I died over here in this corner. No, this isn't a corner. All right. Oh, that's the corner. There we go. You, sir, I believe you are the one who killed me, and therefore you can die, in my opinion. I mean, it's just an opinion. But personally, I believe you can die. All right, let's get out of here. We'll come back for this DLC later. And trust me, we will, because this DLC is freaking awesome. We're going to do this DLC. At least the first boss of it. Possibly the second boss. The second boss is a little tough. We might not do that. Allow me to... Get a little bit of that, uh, healing. Sephiroth does never run away from a fight. This is a strategic retreat. It's part of my strategy. Yes. Definitely. Oh, crap. I picked up the wrong can. I have so many cans here now. I don't even know which one's the right one. Of course, though, it's the last one I picked up. Is the right one. Why would it be any of them before that? Alright, here we go. Um, actually, I have quite a bit of souls. I'm gonna go buy that thing I said I would buy. And also, I don't know how many souls it takes me to level, so... Depending on the answer to that question, I may also do that. But probably not, because I think it's more than I have. Bass and kitties. Bass, bass and kitties, kitties. Bass and kitties. Bass, bass and kitties, kitties. Let's go talk to Pyromancer, dude. Because he's got something for me. He's got something for me. A little bit of something. I'm gonna learn some pyromancies. Specifically this one, I think. Maybe that one. I don't know. How does this work exactly? Pyromancy, which improves upon combustion, creates a powerful giant flame in hand. A very powerful yet simple spell to use. Pyromancy is to at once know fear and longing. The resultant power of which depends on the bolt on both the caster's intelligence and faith. Um that doesn't really tell me anything. Honestly, I think create a powerful giant flame in hand. I think that just means it's like a it's like a a fist, you know, which is cool, but not really what I'm going for. I feel like Sephiroth um, would have more of a bursting fireball. Actually, give me a moment. I'm gonna go watch the uh, Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth fight because that'll tell me exactly what he should have. This was my original plan, so I guess we're just gonna do this. Fire shotgun, it is. Okay, now that I've done that, I can absolutely assure you I do not have enough to level. I'm going to talk to her anyway and see how much I do need. I need 86.33. That's what I thought. I thought it was more than... I actually was going to guess at the 9,000, 9, but I was wrong. It was 8,000, so that's not exactly what I thought, but it's closer to what I thought than what I actually have. Uh, here we go. Pyromancy Flame plus one. Uh, yes. That is a thing I can use now. Now that I have Bursting Fireball. So that's gonna look a little bit like this. And if I do this, that's an attack. That's just a basic fire attack. Like, boof. Fire. But why would I do that when I have a gigantic sword that I can swing? And deal way more damage. And not use magic to do it. Boom! Alright, so we got some Sephiroth up in here. Let's do us some traveling and go back to the Cleansing Chapel. How do you like that, friends? How do you like that? Alright, so what we've got here is a little bit of Sephiroth up in here. Uh, we're gonna get some free souls off of this dude because he is easy to kill. 
And we're gonna get some free souls off of this dude because he is also easy to kill. Then we're gonna we're gonna test out our bursting fireball against these dudes because I don't know how easy they are to kill, but it seems the answer is pretty pretty easy. Oh hello, you are also a dude who lights himself on fire. I'll just allow you to give me free souls then. That S discharge should be helpful. So the first step is to get through these guys. And these guys, um, getting through them isn't too difficult, to be honest. Because most of them are idiots. Who let you just backstep. Yep. They do kind of spawn infinitely, though. Or not infinitely, actually. I've tested that theory out. It's not infinite. But it is for a while. They will, a lot of them will spawn. They will keep spawning for a while, just not forever. I plunged that right between his butt cheeks, let me tell you. In case you did not see that, in case it was not immediately obvious, let me be absolutely certain that you understand that was directly between his butt cheeks. Hey yo. Oh crap. I tried to do I tried to go for the backstab and instead I ended up getting punched in the back myself. That's fine. Backstab. Pelvic thrust. Kick. Alright, so the deal with these guys is that they're very easy to start off, um, as you can see, when I do that. It just kills them, like, right away. But, uh, they get a lot harder. And you'll see why in a minute, once I get there. But for now, I'm just cutting through these guys like they're butter, which is fine. No complaints here. Now this is where it starts to get a bit harder, because this guy, he's a bit different. I do not cut through him like butter. If, as you can see, he has almost double the health. And in addition to that, he also has attacks that inflict bleeding with like two attacks. And bleeding, in case you don't know, is freaking... It's a terrible thing to get in this game, let me tell you. It's a terrible effect. It is highly unpleasant. And let me also inform you that he is not the only one of those I will encounter. Because there is also one over here somewhere. There it is! There he is! And they kind of come out of nowhere, and they're kind of dicks about it. Okay, screw off. Nope, nope, nope! Okay, yep, there goes one attack. Oh, seriously? He's already inflicted bleeding? Uh, Keck. Time to heal. Bleeding does not go away for quite some time, either. So, it's just generally unpleasant. I mean, normally you don't want to be bleeding. But especially in this game, you really don't want to be bleeding. It's very bad. It's a bad thing. In case that was unclear, to begin with, bleeding is generally a bad thing. For most people, at least. I mean, I guess for some, it's probably a good thing. But, uh, I have yet to meet those people. I have yet to meet people for which bleeding is a good thing. I bet, uh, Hidan bleeding is a good thing. I don't know if you know Hidan from, uh, from Naruto. It's probably a good thing for him. Because he can't die. And can kill everybody else by suffering his own pain. Which is weird, but I mean, I guess that's his thing, right? What else, what would he be without it? Probably nothing. He'd be a really shitty character. He's already a slightly shitty character. He would just be an even more shitty character. Actually, to be honest, he's, he's not a, a super shitty character. He's actually a pretty interesting character. He's just a guy who I personally hate because he kills Asuka. Spoiler alert. You should know by now that if I start to talk about something, I'm probably going to say some major spoilers. So, like, yeah, don't don't trust me. I'm not trustworthy. All right, so let's just kick this ladder right on down because that's going to be useful later. Actually, in fact, I'm, I think it's going to be useful right now. Why do I say that? Because I'm going to use it, therefore making it useful, to go back to the starting area. Oh, wait, can I? I don't know if I can. Where am I? Where am I actually? I don't. I actually don't know. <laughs> I have... I have kecked. 
It turns out I have kept. I don't exactly know where I am. I don't remember this part of the map. What is this? What is that? What is any of this? Is this a door? That's not a door. All right, well, there's, there's some crystals here. That's always a good thing, right? Oh, it's a crystal lizard, that's why. I'm gonna I'm a kill this crystal lizard because they give me good things if I kill them. Killing these things gives me uh, rare items, so I'm gonna do that. Keck, get you some keck. I'll give you some of that, uh, kek. How about that? How about a little bit more kek? Would you like some kek? Uh, maybe some kek. How would you like some kek? Oh, God, you're not dead. I thought you were dead. All right. Just one more dose of, uh, kek. Oh, God damn it. Up, 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 up. That's bad. One more dose. One more dose of a little bit of a uh, keck. I'll take that. Titanite scale. Why, thank you, my friend. I do ever so appreciate that. Where the hell am I? I feel like I should not be here. Yet, I am here anyway. Poison bite ring. Hey, oh. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I am bleeding heavily. I would appreciate a little bit of health. Thank you. All right, I'm leaving. I am leaving this area. I don't like this area, and it doesn't seem this area likes me. So that being said, I think it would be mutually beneficial to leave. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The exit. Hey. I'll get a little bit of that keck. Excuse me. A, an unfortunate side effect of uh, so much energy drinks is I often have to pee. So this is going to be the conclusion of this episode for now, because I don't know if it's going to end when I leave or not. So thanks for watching. Join us next time, same time tomorrow, uh, for more ridiculousness, for more keck. And as per usual, stay interesting. Oh, you know, I should probably actually end the episode, right?